Let's talk about one other mover that we're watching, and that is Sienna, the uh, telecom equipment maker. The shares moving up by 7% after the company blew past estimates in its latest quarter. It was driven by gradual improvement in supply chain and strong customer demand here. Um, if you look at the EPS, I mean, when you talk about blowing away, look at that. You haven't seen it. I haven't seen a beat like that in a little while here. 64 cents versus the 36 uh, cents that analysts had been anticipating. Networking platforms revenue up 36%. Converged packet optical revenue, whatever that means, up 36%. Routing and switching revenue, I know what that one means, is up 39%. So seeing some big double-digit gains in various lines of its business as it did get some of its uh, supply chains back online. Yeah, um, not a lot of uh, for me to add to that analysis there, but looking at a chart on the Wi-Fi Interactive, um, I'm going back five years, so this predates the pandemic. We can see pretty steady uptrend into 2022, probably uh like many other companies, taking available or taking advantage of those low rates and also the stimulus money working its way through. Then we saw the huge crash. So it looks like pretty much following the cycle of a lot of other tech companies there and just trying to get its footing rebounding late last year into the first part of this year. I'd say kind of textbook as to what's uh, going on in the uh, tech field right now for a lot of software and chip manufacturers. Yeah, just one more um, stat to point out here from the quarter. Adjusted gross margin at 43.7%. It's still lower than a year ago, but analysts were only looking for 41.8%. So that's one of the other things powering the earnings. The stock was down about 34% last year. Unlike a lot of other um, companies in the tech and telecom space, it hasn't rebounded this year until today, until this earnings catalyst has, has pushed a little higher today. Yeah, and also with these companies, the, the telecom field, it doesn't have that higher beta multiple, so you don't expect quite as much right. volatility, although compared to uh, the, the, the stocks in the S&P 500, it would still have a little bit elevated volatility.